Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking Transformers logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint and it should be fairly easy because it's made of a lot of straight lines which are usually much easier to trace compared to like curves or natural looking shapes. So the left one is the logo created inside Microsoft PowerPoint, the right one is an image. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this logo pasted in and I will select Format Ribbon and in the color drop down menu I will select this uh, light gray preset which will fade the logo a little bit just so we can clearly see what we are drawing. And there are two ways how to draw the logo. We can either try to trace the you know, black shapes or we can try to trace the white shapes which we will later on subtract from the main shape which is most likely what I will do. So I will zoom in and I will try to you know look at the logo trying to find some shapes which maybe like built-in shapes and it seems like to me that the only shape which is kind of in the default the drop down menu is this triangle so I'll start with this one insert shapes isos class triangle that's what the, its name I will draw it like this and then I will rotate by 180 degrees holding the shift key on my keyboard and I will try to position it somehow properly now because there is this yellow handle for setting the skewing angle it's kind of hard to resize it from the bottom so I probably have to resize it from the top and move it down to the bottom using my arrow keys on my keyboard then I will open the shape fill properties more fill colors and I will increase the transparency a little bit just so I can see what's below the shape and I can it will be easier for me to draw the shapes in the right size then I will right click the shape and select set as default shape that's kind of important and that will cause that all the newly drawn shapes will have this fill and outline properties which so it means that whatever I draw next will have this semi-transparent fill which will be helping me a lot so all those white shapes I will most likely use a custom freeform shape tool. So freeform shape tool I will select insert shapes freeform shape. It's also in here. And I'll just you know click where the vertices should be. So here is one, here is another, and I, you know just one click to add the shape. And I can most likely go outside of the main shape just to make sure that you know it will be subtracted properly later on. So this will be like the first shape. I will close the shape. And you can see it's semi-transparent. I don't need to do any adjustments right now. I'm pretty happy with the shape. I will continue with like this nose. So again, a freeform shape. I will start around in this shape and try to trace it properly. And when I have straight lines, I can hold the shift key on my keyboard, which will cause to snap to 45 degree angle. So this is a straight line. This is some angle, so I cannot use the shift key. But you know, starting from this vertex, I can hold the shift key and have the straight line same here and here and here is some kind of angle and I will close this shape. The bottom shape is down here there is also a straight line so insert shapes a freeform shape tool. I will start with this angle and uh, as you can see I'm starting you know on maybe a little bit wrong spot so I'll insert one more point here just so the angle is right and I'm kind of touching the below shape or the logo below. Same here I'll insert one more vertex here just so everything is aligned properly. Okay, so that's the mouth. Here there is like the skew shape, but since because it's overlaid with the eye as well, I can probably go with the rectangle this time. It will be easier for me to draw just a rectangle like this. And I will copy paste it using my shift and control key on my keyboard. And I will copy it one more time and rotate it to get the same angle like this. Then copy paste it and flip it. So rotate, flip horizontal. I will move it over here, then I will trace the eyes, making sure that the vertices are overlapping the other symbols or other shapes. So I'll start in here, probably go a little bit more to the top and trace the eye shape. This is a straight line. I'll duplicate it again. I will format, rotate, flip horizontally this shape, align it properly. And I believe that only missing part as, from the, as for the white shapes are those whatever are those, I don't know, like holes in the head. So I'll again use the freeform shape tool. And I believe that all those shapes are the same. So I should be able to get along with just one shape, duplicate it. I will select both shapes, duplicate it on the right side, but I have to group it first. So group, group this together. Then I will flip this horizontally, move it to the right spot. And I will ungroup all those objects because I will, I will need them ungrouped later on. So the, white uh, fills or white shapes are being traced I can most likely group all those together and hide them for now and I now I need to trace the main shape and as you can see there is a little bit of like a round roundness on the top so what I will do is I will probably 
trace the straight lines first and then tra and then create maybe like the, like the oval so insert shapes freeform shape tool and i will simply trace the straight lines and you can see that the logo is actually symmetrical so i may be able to just trace one half but just because the logo is so simple i will probably trace it in one run you know not not having two different parts which i would have to merge together which may cause me some you know additional points which i don't want to have it here so insert shapes oval and i will trace the top part like this i'll try to somehow match the shape of the of the, or the cur curveness curvature whatever it's called like this okay so i have the like the background shape which i can set to black color and no outline and of course no transparency so no transparency i can hide the image then i can show my group and if i just set the fill to white color and no outline i get the same shape so that's fine and that's how you can do it inside word not only in powerpoint but if you want a logo which you can use on any background so if i would change the background design format background and a different color for the background like the gray you can see that those white shapes you know would have to be of course leak recolored if there would be like an image on the background it wouldn't be transparent so if you want a transfer fully like a transparent logo matching the original one we can select this group and merge those shapes together but before we do that we have to ungroup this group so group ungroup then i will select merge shapes union which will merge all those shapes all those white shapes into one then I will select those two bottom shapes, the oval and the main shape. Again, I will merge those together using the union tool. Then I will select the background shape and the foreground shape and select merge shapes, subtract. So it will be subtracted. And now I'm getting the very same looking logo as the original Transformers one. And I can probably reset colors. And I believe that this one was transparent as well. So you cannot tell the difference what's the original logo and what's the newly created logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And so that's it. That's how you create the Transformers logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint in almost no time. Thanks for watching.